This is We See Jesus for Saturday, April 8th. I hope you're having a great weekend celebrating our risen Lord and resurrection weekend. We're gonna be reading today in John chapter 20, verses one through 20. It says, early on the first day of the week while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started running for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where the others were staying. Now, Mary stood outside the tomb trying, crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. He said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabbani, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me for I have not yet ascended to the father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the very first messenger of the gospel. Can you even imagine the hope that was just breathed into every disciple right there? Verse 19, on the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. And so began the telling of the most glorious story that still 2000 years later, we're rejoicing in the resurrection of our Savior, that Jesus died, He conquered death, hell, and the grave for us, for us, that all who call on the name of the Lord are saved. If we believe that Jesus is Lord, if we confess with our mouth that He is Lord, that we believe in our hearts that God raised Him from the dead, we are saved. We receive the gift of salvation. We're filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and we get to walk hand in hand with our resurrected Lord. Let's glorify Him today. Jesus, we praise your holy name. We thank you that you're our resurrected King. We look to you as King Jesus, you are in charge of every part of our lives. We offer our lives to you as living sacrifices. Jesus, that we would be those that are pleasing to you, that we would be those that stand in adoration and awe of you. You are so good and we glorify your name. We thank you for conquering death for us that we don't have to be separated from God. You were separated from God that we don't have to be. So we receive this good gift of salvation. We receive your resurrection that we too will get to be resurrected and live eternally with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Resurrection Sunday tomorrow. I hope you have a great day celebrating all that our Lord has done for us.